Welcome to this edition of Week in Review. We're here to uh, help you wrap up the year. That's right. Uh, middle of December, heading towards the end of December. Uh, a lot of things going on, uh, celebrations, family get-togethers, and renewing relationships with your Savior, Jesus Christ. And that's what LLBN is good for, to help you in the spiritual quest to find truth. And we're going to do that with some special programming this holiday season. Here's Daryl Mundell to fill you in. Daryl? Well, we have uh, across the, the whole Christmas season, we'll be having some special programs for you that are Christmas-related programs. We have, uh, and of course, on the Christmas weekend, um, Sabbath, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday, we will be running... Uh, just a straight through uh, schedule of Christmas programs, Christmas concerts, Christmas music. This is definitely the channel to turn to just to relax and enjoy your Christmas day. Well, your whole Christmas uh, weekend and season. That's exciting, actually, to know you have those kind of programs yes. are running during the season. Just back to back, fantastic music. Mostly music. And as a matter of fact, that's uh, <coughs> right in line with our verse of the day, which Canham has. Canham, uh, what verse did you pick for us today? John 1, 14, and it says, The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and the only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Kind of says it all. Wraps it up. If anyone has any doubt who Jesus is, Jesus is the Son of God. He became flesh, and, uh, and he lived among the people and uh, brought God's glory to earth. And uh, what a glorious part of the season to remember the birth of Jesus and to celebrate the occasion of Christmas through LLBN throughout the world. So unpack that a little bit, Daryl. Uh, how, how does that relate to the Christmas season? Well, the Word became flesh. That's kind of interesting because before this point, apparently he wasn't flesh. He was the Word. I'm not even sure what that means. Well, well or I'm not even sure anybody knows what well, that I, means entirely, but... I, I think it is, you can extrapolate the Word of God, mm -hmm. uh, which is the Bible. Since it is his word, you know, given to men through inspiration so to capture those He thoughts. was the word. Well, in the beginning, right in Genesis, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was, was with God. God. And the word was God. And the word was God, exactly. And now, moving on, the word became, became flesh. flesh. And dwelt among us, lived with us, wow. became one of us. It's kind of interesting because... Uh, well, you know, actually, that does make sense. Because prior to that time, God lived among his people in one specific place. There was the, uh, the temple, the tabernacle, as it was. There was the holy place. There was the most holy place. Where was the, there was the Ark of the Covenant. And the presence of God was there. Mm -hmm. And then when he came and lived among us, his presence was as one of us. It wasn't this separated thing in the, holy, in the most holy place where if a priest happened to walk into there when he wasn't supposed to, he'd be struck God, dead. Yeah. Now, you could talk face to face with the word, with God. You could spend, people mm. spent time with him. They argued with him. They ate with him. They mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they hung out in the garden of Gethsemane with him. I wouldn't say, shouldn't say hung out. That was maybe not so much <laughs> hanging out. But they spent time with him right, right. without being struck dead. And following that, every human, every person became the new Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. If his presence was with you, you know. were the new Ark of the Covenant, the most holy place. Well, that's an interesting thought. And I don't know if I'm willing to go that far with it, but uh, the Bible also tells us that thy word is truth. Mm -hmm. So if the word is God, he is truth. And if he's truth, there is no lie in him. 
And no matter what we think of the Bible, we have to accept it as truth. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you have to reject it all. What I like about this is, is here is a God says, in the beginning mm -hmm. was the Word, and the Word was with God. So here is the Prince of Heaven decides to come in a human form, in flesh, and experience all earth agony and subjected to all earth conditions and sin, but he defeated sin, yet he connected with people and had unique connection through each miracle in its uniqueness and each situation. There are not two, no two, two stories alike. Everything he did was unique and special and picked special people and connected with people from poor to working class to fishermen to even the prostitute who he forgave her sins and told her not to sin anymore. He connected with people and that what makes him really the God of heaven who loves his children so much that he became flesh and he also dwelled among them. And it demonstrates that all throughout the Testament how he was healing and he was praying and he wept, wept and cried when, 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 when his, uh, uh, when, uh, uh, the word escapes me, the name... Um, no, Lazarus. Lazarus uh, uh, died and he resurrected him. So here is a God who became true flesh. And now he knows all our needs and our insecurities and, and our sickness and hunger. And it really shows how much... That's how much he loved the world and how much he loved his people. Is that the true meaning of Christmas then, perhaps? To me, that it's, it's me every day with Jesus is Christmas. But yes, this that, is a time. The point in time where he left being just the word and became one of us. The greatest gift give it, could, could have ever been given to mankind. Okay, gentlemen, uh, this program is to update our viewers on uh, what's going on uh, with the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. And as you can see, uh, all we want to do is uh, around here is talk about Jesus. Amen. Uh, that's what the LLBN is about, and that is your week in review. Uh, to develop your relationship, review your relationship with Jesus uh, the past week, and review your plans to improve your relationship with Jesus in the coming week. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a hard thing to do. Uh, spend some time in the Word. Thy Word is truth. Uh, you can always trust that word. And then if you do that every day, it will begin to transform your life. Isn't that true, Janum? Amen. Amen. Uh, personal Mama. experience. Yeah. I mean, um, my life being transformed. And I pray everyone's life get transformed. And that's what we do at LLBN, to help people transform, mm -hmm. to come out of sin. What is sin? You know, sin is darkness. Sin is suffering. So when we bring Jesus to, pe uh, to people... We're helping them to come out of the darkness and live a beautiful life through Jesus and to be a value to their loved ones and communities. Uh, it's all about Jesus. You know, someone accuses us that we do. We talk too much about Jesus. Yes, please excuse us. It is all about Jesus. It's well, there, and there you have it, folks. That's what you're doing. You're supporting the ministry of Jesus when you support this ministry. And as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, we're running out of time uh, for this year, so we pray that you would pray about it and uh, put LOBN on your list of giving uh, at this very, very critical time in world ministry. Uh, this message needs to go out more than ever. I mean, you hear the news. Uh, whether you watch CNN or Fox News, they're all the same. It's bad news. The only good news is the good news mm. of Jesus Christ's salvation that comes from stations like LLBN. Now, we are in a growth phase. Uh, we're going to uh, head into the new year with all kinds of, of plans that we need to implement now because now is the time for growth. Get them? Well, Marlon, God is good. God is leading. God is moving LLBN forward, and its needs <coughs> is growing. Uh, distribution, we're expanding our distribution coming January, February. We have a whole complete distribution center rebuilding what we have depleted, but also as we rebuild what's depleted, we're expanding by tenfold, I would think, if not greater, Daryl. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, our signal is just available in so many outlets, uh, 
We're just on fire to share Jesus. Uh, but that takes money, not for us. We do not get paid. It is our gift to the ministry to give our time after hours and weekends. But the gift of money, what it takes to pay the bills, the satellite costs, the internet costs, the distribution costs, the fiber lease, and the list just goes on. Equipment, utilities, legal, copy, music copyrights, there is no end. Just like any business or any church you attend on a Sabbath, it has to pay the bills of utilities and staff. We have payments also. Luckily, we keep our staff to minimum, all volunteers, but the cost, we have to pay the world to use their services to spread the good news of Jesus, it does cost money. And it costs about, let runs LLB in about one and a half million dollars a year. It sounds like a lot of money, but let me tell you folks, my colleagues here who comes from the broadcast industry, most television networks operating between 10 to 20 million dollars a year. Mm -hmm. And we're running eight television networks for million and a half. And yeah, now they're, they close their doors at 10 million. And that's time to sell. Yeah. If you're only, if you're only got 10 million for operation. So it's a miracle that LLBN can do this work with a million and a half, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, that really comes down to $150 an hour. That's right. $150 an hour. If you cannot afford $100, $150 an hour for half an hour, you can take the message of Jesus throughout the world. $150 will take the message to the world. But think about it. I want you to think about it for a second, folks. That $150 once we broadcast that one, fifth, that one hour, that 150 is gone. Mm -hmm. Now we need to pay the next 150 and the next 150. But isn't it a miracle if you listen to what I just said, that this machine goes 24 seven and we're keeping it for $150 an hour. Now, if we ask you, if there's a thousand of you get together, a thousand out of the entire community of faith who watch us, $150 each one of you will send per month. per month. And just pledge $150 mm -hmm. a month for life and continue giving that $150. What a great service you'd be doing to the ministry of Jesus. What mm -hmm. a, your names, I believe, <laughs> I believe just your, your, your name will be in, in the books of heaven, how you help spread the gospel of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Daryl, have you seen anything like this? No. I've been in uh, television for many years, and I've never seen anything like this. And you've seen waste, I assume? I have seen waste. In fact, I came, when I first arrived at this place, the, uh, the level of, of care for every penny, the penny pinching, actually was just shocking. It was actually a little bit dismaying <laughs> to me at first until I now. got into it and <laughs> saw, okay, that penny pinching is producing results, is still producing results right. that uh, it would take a whole lot more money for anyone okay. else to do. Well, that penny is the widow's mite. Mm -hmm. And we have to be careful with it. My mom, when she was alive, she was part of that given. Marlon's mom, she's part of that given. Your mom was as well. So. It is not our money, it is your money, and we're just, you're entrusting us with your money, and it's our duty and responsibility before you and before God that we use every penny wisely for the ministry of Jesus Christ. Well, there you have it. The latest that is going on here within the doors of the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. I want to invite you to uh, stay tuned for a very special Christian Connections uh, later on today, about 6.30 uh, p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, on Sabbath, uh, to view our trip around town to, to give you a behind-the-scenes tour of what happens here at the Loma Linda Broadcasting Network. That's all we have for you today. See you next time on Week in Review. Bye-bye.